just want to uh, introduce the idea of histograms in Bitwig. So this gives me like the average velocity of each note. So that's 82% obviously out of 100. The average, uh, uh, rather the mean is another, another word for the average. So we can change three parameters here. Uh, the mean, the average, that just moves all of those velocities by the same amount. So it keeps the relative position exactly the same. We're just uh, boosting or attenuating the velocity of each of those notes. We've got the spread. So we could in fact actually accentuate by dragging upwards those differences in velocity. Notice that it pops back to 100% as soon as I let go of the mouse. Or we could decrease, we could attenuate the spread there, pull each of those closer together. So if you wanted to still have a little bit of variation in the velocities, but you didn't want it to be quite as wayward, you could just attenuate the spread. Or if you wanted to make it very drum machine, robotic sounding, you could pull them all the way to zero. And now you've got one velocity, one, one consistent velocity for each of those drum hits. And then we could move the mean about to pick where we want that to fall on the velocity scale. Chaos introduces, as the name suggests, variation. So if there wasn't variation there initially, like there wasn't with the mouse programmed clip, I could introduce that artificially using the chaos function. And you can really hear now how we're getting drums of very different volume. So by default, generally speaking, velocity equals volume. That seems to make sense, but we can get velocity to control other parameters. So that's attenuating the velocities. And you'll see these histograms, well, you can see them everywhere else. For panning, gain, pitch. So I'm introducing chaos into the pitch of each of those drum hits. That's pitching the whole kit up and down. You see on the note expression editor, we've got velocity, gain, panning left and right in the stereo field and timbre. Now it might seem like we're really concentrating in on just drums at the moment, but MIDI editing is MIDI editing. So everything that we're learning here can be applied to tonal instrumentation as well. So yeah, we're looking at MIDI editing from the point of drums, but just be aware that it's, you know, it's a transferable skill onto synthesizers and other virtual instruments.